we got our package from Knit Crate and this month they have a series called Golden Hour and it, they have two skeins of either greens or browns or blues and we got the reds. Look how pretty that is. <gasps> so they, it comes also with this show, the instructions and this cow. So wonderful, wonderful. Now this is a DK thickness, which is a little like a three, a little bit in between three and four. And it's a super wash merino wool. Now merino wool doesn't itch and it's very, very soft. The merino sheep have very soft hair. And um, they, they do tell you to use a uh, US five knitting needle which is a 3.75 millimeter it comes with 236 yards each which is wonderful that's a hundred grams four ounces and so the Odin wools are exclusively hand dyed for knit crate so look at these colors like whoa just just wonderful I'm going to be knitting a cow with a trinity stitch and uh, I will come back and tell you how to do that. Now I'm going to be using a number seven circular needles because I want to have my cow like this. So you are going to make your slip knot, put it in your needle. You are going to knit that first stitch. and then bring it out, twist and put it in. So you go and pick up the two strands so you're going to go in between those two stitches, go in there, bring your yarn out, twist and put it on your left hand needle. So again you're going to Put your needle, pick up the whole chain, bring it out, and put it in your needle. So I will come back once I go around my needle so I can tell you what to do next. Okay, we're going to be making the Trinity stitch, and for the Trinity stitch, you do need to have a multiple of four when you're knitting in the round. So I have 140 because that's 35 times 4 is 140 and I need to connect my the beginning with the end. So since I want to make a few rounds of seat stitch and for the seat stitch you do need to have an odd number of stitches I cast it on an extra one here and I'll get rid of it when I start with a trinity stitch. I'll just knit two, two together and that's it. So I make sure that all your st stitches are looking toward the outside. See, and all this is looking toward the outside of your needle and you're going to start knitting. So knit and purl. And this is the seat stitch. Go around several times. Knit and purl. Knit and purl. Knit and purl. And I will see you once I make several rounds of my seat stitch so we can start with the trinity stitch. Okay, I knitted four rows of seat stitch and then row number one of the trinity stitch is you knit all around one row and after that row number two is you're going to knit, purl and knit that same stitch 
and now you're going to purl the next three stitches together. Let's do that again. You're going to knit, put your yarn to the front and purl, put your yarn to the back and knit that same stitch and now you purl those three stitches together. Let's do that one more time. Knit, purl, and knit that same stitch. Now you can take it off. And purl three stitches together. And I will see you at the end of this round. Okay, I'm finishing row number two. So I knit, purl, knit, and now I need to purl three together. But remember that we added an extra stitch because we needed odd number of stitches to do the seat stitch here. So we need only 140. We, we don't need 141. Therefore, we are going to purl not three, but four at the end, only at the end of this row. Okay, so now I'm going to pass my marker and I am going to knit the next row, only knit all around and I will see you when I finish this row. So it's only knit. This is row number three. Okay, I'm finishing row three and now row number four we're going to do the opposite. Remember that we started with knit, purl, knit and then we purl three together. Now we're going to start with purling three together and then the next one we're going to knit, purl, and knit into that same stitch. So again we're going to purl three together and then knit, purl, and knit into that same stitch. Now of course the right side is going to be the other side because that's where the bubbles are going to be showing. See, but in a few rows I'm going to show you how it is. But this is a very pretty stitch. So we purl three together. This is row number four. Purl three together and then knit Curl, knit, and do that all around. And I will see you when I get here. Like that, I can show you how to uh, start all over because you need to do rows one through four again. Okay, I'm going to sum up rows one through four. So row number one, you're going to knit all around. Row number two, you're going to knit, purl, knit into one stitch and purl three together. Row number three, you're going to knit all around. And row number four, you're going to purl three together and knit, purl, knit the next. Okay, so and this is the way it's going to look on the other side but of course you'll see it much better once we go through a few more rows and I will go go and knit for as wide as you want your cow to be but uh, as soon as I do that I will come back and show you how to bind off Hey, this is looking very pretty and I'll show you the other side because I'm working on the wrong side and this is how it looks. 
very very nice so now I measured about 20 yards of the leftover yarn because I figured that I need about four yards for each row around and I still need to do the four rows of the seat stitch and one for the bind off so that's 20 yards and please finish the last row that of, of the stitch with a row number one or number three so like that it looks the same as the beginning so now what I want to do because I knitted the whole row here and I will start by knit and purl and of course you you do need an odd number of stitches in order to uh, to have your seat stitched so at the at the end of this row you can either add a stitch or knit two together whatever you wish so like that you have an odd number of stitches and I will see you when I finish my four rows of seat stitch okay I made my four rows of seat stitch and now I want to bind off I'll take my thing off and I am going to knit that stitch and then bring it back to my left needle from the bottom to the top like so and then with your right needle take those two stitches and knit them together through the back again pick up that stitch from the bottom to the top and then knit the next two stitches together to the back of the loops again you bring your stitch from the bottom to the top with your right needle pick up the next two stitches and knit them through the back again bring your left needle pick it up from the bottom to the top and knit those two stitches through the back of the loops and that makes it a very flexible bind off because you don't want anything stiff you want it to look more like so like at the beginning so again bring your stitch from the bottom to the top to your left needle and knit those two stitches through the back and I'll see you when I finish this. I finished my bind off row. I'll just pass my yarn through and pass my yarn through the first stitch that I bind off right there so I can kind of form a new stitch. So pick up one side and the other. There we go and then bring it back to where you left off and that's it bring it to now we have to bring it to this side pick up a little bit of each piece there we go and make a little knot there make it secure and then you can weave in the ends and that's it I'm going to take some pictures of this and post them online see how pretty that is very very pretty so thank you very much for watching and please share us with your friends and like our page and subscribe and I'll see you next time